Hey everybody, this is Free Sky Steve, and this is episode two of our little two-part mini-series. I love that word mini-series. It sounds like this is Free Sky Steve's after-school special. Anyway, um, we'll be right back after this commercial break. Uh, no, seriously, we are looking at setting up a stabilized receiver. I'm going to explain the step three which was how to set up your receiver. And I'm also gonna go and show you a few different things that as much as I can possibly show you in a non-functioning version of the Lewis script. So this is gonna be fun. We're gonna have a great time with this. So the first thing we wanna do is long press on this until you see the model select show up. And we go down here and we hit plus. We're gonna create a model. We're gonna create an airplane. And we're going to create a TDSR-10 airplane. So that's the receiver I want to use. And so I go down this list till I find it. Ooh, there it is right there. Look at that. It's all beautiful. Uh, and you can see the pins are over here. All right. So all sorts of good stuff happening here. And we just go to the next thing. We're creating an airplane. And we're going to do this pretty quickly. Two channels for flaps and ailerons. Here's the traditional tail, and they're both going to have one channel. And this is where things change a little bit. And this is where we start to set up the parts of the stabilization system. And I'm going to remind you of some things that we covered in the last video, and hopefully we'll move for this fairly quickly. We're going to go into analogs. This one, I want to use pot one as my gains, and the, the gains are on channel 13 even though you can't see it this is channel 13 this is channel 14 i'm going to use switch a for channel 14. now we're using the quick mode not using the basic mode i don't really care too much about um knife edge and 3d hover maybe at some point in the future i will uh but there's just too many switch combinations to memorize i think it's kind of confusing I'm going to show you that we're not going to populate this, but it will show up a little bit later on how we have to get rid of it. Okay, so we go next to our overview. Everything's set up the way I like. I go in here. I find myself a funny little picture. What do I got? I don't know. I got a... Oh, uh, Canada's a two... Oh, there we go. A Cessna 150. I like that plane. All right, so... I won't, Sometimes I, I go so quickly, I forget to actually select it. So what we're going to do is we're going to call this thing C E S S space one five zero. Look at that. I am done. I got myself a setup, a nice model setup too. And so the first thing I want to do is go into the airplane icon, which is the same as hitting the model. Go into mixes, and I got everything set up. Remember I said we don't need channel 15 because that's a basic flight mode? I am going to press on it once and go all the way to the bottom and delete that. So we're not going to use that whatsoever. Do you want to clear the name? I certainly do. All right. We have flaps on channels 6 and 7. So... We have some interesting things going on here. Um, we have a 10 channel receiver, right? We got 10 sets of pins, everything's good. And then I also have channels 13 and 14 and I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> okay. Um, well, uh, here's the answer. Even when you have a six channel receiver and we, and we used to sell some four channel Archer R4 receivers for a while. Even on the four channel receivers, we sent out 16 channels. So even though you only have 10 sets of pins, you are still sending out 16 channels. So channel 13 is for your gains and channel 14 is for your stabilization mode. Okay, so as long as you understand that. And then the other problem we're going to run into is that when we look at the stabilization, we, have, we talk about terms of banks. So the first six pins, pins 1 through 6, are in bank 1. Pin 7 through 11 are bank 2. And the problem we run into is on the flaps down here because it's on pin number 6. So how do we work with this? And we'll cover that as well. You can have a choice of moving it to 
channels 8 and you can have channels plug it into channel 7 and 8 for your flaps but we're going to keep this one alive on channel 6 and I'll show you what I'm talking about in a minute in the meantime what I'm going to do is the biggest problem we run into is we have this thing called a gain adjust and as you can see it has a negative 100 to a positive 100 and you do not want to deal with negative gains because they do they make the flying experience worse <laughs> it's so the first thing I do is we want to fix this and what I do is long press on it so I go into edit and I add a new action so let me show you once again it's at the bottom here and I can I've already started work on it go in there and I change weights to curve and then I'm going to add a curve and the curve name is going to be gains somehow I am not getting hitting that first letter I must have bad juju all right and the type is going to be a custom curve and the custom curve it says starts off with five points we only need two and so we wanted to go from zero to 100 so here's zero check this out I, I, instead of scrolling to 100 I just click on it and go to maximum and there we have it we have ourselves a curve that goes from 0 to 100 and it's set up right and this is ready to go and channel 14 is actually ready to go as well because that one also goes from negative 100 to positive 100 but that's what you want to use for a three position switch so we're good to go with that and with this it looks like we have the basic model set up but the only thing I would do is right here we do not have a source for the flap so you can go in there and edit and the input could be switch B for example and there we have it we have the flap set up even though that's not the correct way to set up the flaps in theory everything's set up and we're just going to keep moving on all right, so if I hit the long press on the return and hold all the way in, I get back to the front of the menu here. And I want to go look at something. And so this is where we talk about Lewis scripts. And Lewis scripts are something that is it's like a third-party app that gets added. It's kind of like when you put apps on your smartphones. It's developed by somebody other than Google or, or Apple. Um, and so these are what we use to make our stabilized receivers work for the time being until we can bake it into ethos so we put it we had to go to a website and we had to download the script i'm sorry we had to download the lewis scripts that's right and we had to unzip it and we had to put it into the right folder and when it's all set up what will happen is you press this gear icon and you move this over and you'll see these three things show up so this is the calibration screen and this is something that the steps I would highly encourage you to watch the videos I've included in the document because essentially what happens is this side goes up and then this goes down and this side goes up and then it goes down and then then this thing the receiver sits on this edge right here and this faces forward and the pins are on your right side and then you flip those pins over to the left side and those are the six different ways you go about doing things with the calibration process when you're done it says calibration successful and you never have to do that again and that's great because when you get to the flying field you can get to flying without having to wait for the servos to do the dance okay so we got into this thing called the basic mode this is essentially if you wanted to turn everything off when you hit open i can't turn the on because this is a real lewis script and it well, does not work with the simulator but if you were to turn this on you, would, you can come in here and you can turn this to off and then what you would have is a normal 10 channel receiver without stabilization because the imu is the gyro and you're turning it off uh, but you probably want to turn it on and that leaves us to the last menu which we haven't got to which is the most fun of all the Lewis script menus it's my personal favorite and what you do is you hit open I kind of discussed this in the document and the very first thing you want to make sure of is that this one is turned on so it's a stable stabilization and this would be on by default it's on 
but also by default the second one is on so when I hit this page up page down key what I would do on here is I would turn this to off even though it's on you just click open turn this from on to off you want to make sure it's off altogether because what you want to do is make sure that pin 7 through 10 are just normal pins without stabilization so you can use your flaps and other things okay to get back to page one once again you hold down and this for a little while and now you see we're back to page one of two and we now go into this thing called the self check and I mentioned in the last video you turn it on and then if you can see the light after about three and a half seconds it will start blinking at a different speed or it will come off or it just it, it will change colors it, it does something a lot of times by the time you're doing the self check the receivers in the plane you can't look at it so you count to about three seconds and then you start moving your sticks and when you go from disable to enable what happens right away it switches back to disable and you think it doesn't work it does work you just have to wait three seconds and start moving the switch uh, sticks and then if you did it right you'll see the servo dance and then you go back in and you move all your sticks and they should do full deflection like you always worked this is the spot where we turn on quick mode you want it to enable that and that gives us channel 14 working which is one flight mode and that works with stabilization off stabilization on and self level and so you want to make sure that's on and then you select your wing type there and okay I mentioned earlier that I wanted to use channel 6 because channel 6 in the big picture is a second aileron a no it's second elevator elevator 2 so what you would want to do is go down to you see channel 6 mode channel 5 mode in this example using it as our second aileron so we want to keep on aileron 2 so this elevator 2 what you do is you switch this and it will the other option is aux 2 and when it goes to aux 2 what happens is everything as far as stabilization turns off for channel 6 and as I mentioned before channels 7 through 11 are turned off so we have all that worked out and then the other thing that I wanted to talk to you about is you the, they have a lot of similar names here and it's kind of hard to find the right spot so you kind of have to look down here so these were the knife edge offsets and the hover offsets and stuff like that and these are the, the stabilization canes and what we're looking for is something called aileron. It's the direction. Yeah, here we go. So this is aileron direction, right? You see that there's aileron direction, and down here there's aileron two directions. So this is aileron one. This is channel one. And if your left aileron, when you stand behind the plane, if the one on your left is going the wrong direction, then um, when you do the test after after you're done doing the self test you're making sure that when you move the plane uh, if the if you bring the wing up drastically on the left side up and instead of that other one going up it goes down this is where you switch it from the direction from either reverse to normal or from normal to reverse same thing with the elevator and the rudder and then aileron two is for channel five it's on the right side and by the way you really need to plug these in the right channels please 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 when you stand behind the plane the left aileron is channel one so please just plug that in the right position otherwise it just makes us a miserable mess to try to fix i don't think you can fix you would have to go in and start all over again and that is pretty much it I mean there's all sorts of other little things here but in reality we covered everything I do thank you for watching if you have any questions please leave in the comments and that concludes the ABC after-school special and we now return you to your regular programming